everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Today I wanted to share some more storage ideas with you because I know there's some of your favorites and you're always looking for more storage ideas. Now, I am a huge fan of sewing notions for my craft room. I do sew, but I use them a lot in my paper crafting room too. And I love the Fat Quarter Shop. I have shopped there for years and years. I'm a member of their subscription box. I'll pop a link in the video description and you'll be amazed how many things that come in that subscription box end up in this room rather than in my sewing space. Now my sewing space is really just a nook in the corner, but lots of them end up here. And I wanted to share with you some things that I bought at the Fat Quarter Shop this week that are designed for my craft room. So let's dive in and take a look. I have tons here, so I'm gonna move them to the side and I'll bring some things in. Now I grabbed another one of these. This is called a stash and store. It has a silicone piece in the top here. And I bought another one of these because my first one has been taken up with my Art Esprit markers. And the reason I love it for these is because these markers were in our March subscription box. If you want to find out more about that, you can check the top right hand corner. But these are fab, they're an iron on ink marker so we can use all of our stamping and coloring and we can iron it on to anything which I think is really cool but what you do um, is the reason I have these in here is because they're designed to lay down until you're ready to use them and then they stand up but this will hold anything so it holds markers it can hold all of my tonic tools here so if I bring my mug in I can pop my spatulas in here and my craft spoon can go into this one and then my craft pick can go in and there's a masking crayon. And so you kind of get the idea. I can pop all of my tools in no matter what size. But what I really love is they're right there. And if I'm say coloring an image, I could have my Copics in here ready to go. And it comes in whatever color you like. So I have a teal and now I have my pink one. But I wanted another one of these. And I think this is fab. As I say, it's designed for your sewing stuff, but I think it's super cool for all crafters. So. That was one thing I got. I also ordered another one of these. The teal um, magnetic bowl came in my subscription box and I ordered the pink one. The pink one is now already deployed into my room and I was using it for another project, but I wanted to tell you about this. It's super cool because when you're working with dyes, so many of us have these tiny little dyes and they're all over the place. It's like, well, where did that dye go? This has a magnet in the bottom and I really should have grabbed some dyes to work with, but this has a magnet in so that when you're working with your dies, you just pop it in here, your magnets will stick to it. Um, your dies rather will stick to it. So when you're die cutting something, you just throw your dies in here. At the end of your project, all your dies will be in this bowl and then you're ready to go. Of course, it would hold pins and needles and all those things for sewers, but for us paper crafters, your dies will go in here. Of course, it's polka dot and pretty, so I love it even more. And it comes in tons of colors. Again, everything will be linked in the video description for you. But I love this and I love that it sits a little bit up and and I like the lipped edge because it keeps everything contained rather than, I know there are others on the market and they're flush, but I just like the lipped edge on this one. So there's that. Then there are these. So these are doohickey clips. I do also love the little jar that it came in with a little doll on top, isn't it cute? Um, I think the packaging sold me more than anything. But I use these all the time in my paper crafting. And why do I use them? They're little plastic clips. So when I'm working on projects, something that maybe needs to adhere a little bit longer, I like these plastic clips because they don't leave any marks on my project. And I will clip layers together, or if I'm doing a mixed media project, I will clip items together. And they come in different sizes. They come in a small and a large. I'm not sure if I have any of the large in my top drawer here. Oh, yes, I do. This is the larger size. So you can see they also come in large. So you can go kind of quite a long way into your project. And then this is the smaller size. So I love both of these. And I also, when I open my top drawer, remind me, I have these, which I also bought from the Fat Quarter Shop. These are little clothespins from there. They're just super pretty, they're painted. But again, I hold layers together with these. So if something super delicate, then I would use these just because they have a nice flush piece on them. But these are super strong, so for mixed media and things. Particularly when using those tonic media dyes, if you haven't seen those already, you totally need those, I love them. Again, check the top right hand corner. Um, you can use these and these are the ones that go in a little bit further. So they're another fun thing that I think, yes, they're designed for the sewers, but they're fab for us paper crafters. So there's those. Then 
The next thing I picked up, just a couple of little trinket things. I always love pretty things to store things in. This is a Make Beautiful Things tin from Moda. And I just love pretty tins. So it's just a little storage tin. You can store clips or pins or notions or whatever fun things you want. Again, same thing. Little fun create. Again, I just love things to store things in. Little pencil case. And this one made me smile because Greg always tells me this. Measure twice, cut once. I think that's his mantra in here because I'm always going, oh sugar, I should have measured that. And he's like, measure twice, cut once. So I saw this and I thought he would laugh every time. He's, he's nodding his head at me behind the camera. So, um, so I just had to have that too. Okay, what else did I get? I got these really cute little storage tins. Look at these, these are buttons. And you just screw the top off. And I like the fact it screws off rather than pulls off. Little storage tins to hold things in. So you can put beads in there, you could put clips in there, you could put um, sequins. Um, I always need things to hold in there, which I love. And they had big ones, how cool. So I had to have the big one too. You'll see it appear on the back wall, probably by the next video, because after this one, I will put it on the back wall. And this is the large one. You can put your fingers in here. I have to remember how you open this one. And then in here, this one is divided, which I thought was even better. So I can put tools in here. If I'm going to an event, which I am next week, I can put stuff in here. And I just thought it was super cool. And um, also it looks really cool as well. I mean, how cute was that? So that was something else I had. They also had these, which I'm afraid a bit rustly to open, but these also, oh, I should mention the buttons came in other sizes. And I think if I remember correctly, each size was a different color. I bought a couple to see what they were like and I'm in love. So you will see more sizes and colors appear in the background very soon. These were also available in other colors, but I really liked these. These are felted wool um, storage cubes. And again, I always look for things to store things in, whether it's for my tools to go in or whether it's, I often use things to queue up for videos. But these also, this is neat, look at this. So it's a big one that stores all four of these in. So you can keep them together or separately. I like the fact that it's the gray with the pink. I mean, you know I'm all about the pink, so that's a really cool thing too. But I just like these and they're really sturdy. So they are a bit squidgy, but also I could fill it with, you know, it's gonna take a fair amount of weight. Even with that, it's kind of not deforming. I can put lots of stuff in it. So I like that too. So there were some more fun storage options and I know lots of you like the fun and the practical like I do. So that was another storage thing. Now back to some other things that I bought that are not about storage, but are practical crafting items. I love my Tula Pink things. So I'm a big fan of Tula Pink in general, but her tweezers I think are the best for sewers, for paper crafters, for everything. And the other day I thought I'd lost my tweezers. I was panicking. So I needed a backup pair. I use these tweezers all the time. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> See, he knows what I'm gonna go for. These are called Swiss tweezers. They come in this really cool like oil stained coloring and they have this fantastic point on them. So they're great for applying gems. They're great for moving things, for moving stamps. Um, I use them for literally everything. They have that fine point, which means you can move stuff out of dies. Um, so I grabbed myself an extra pair. I think these are awesome. I also sent some to a couple of um, crafty friends. They are loving them too. So I wholeheartedly recommend these. I've used Swiss tweezers for years. And then when Tula came out with pretty ones, well, I had to have pretty ones. And then I also grabbed, she has limited edition different scissors every year. And I really like the idea of these for really fine detail fussy cutting. I do love my Tim Holtz's. But I was intrigued by some of the kind of, if I move this closer, see if you can get that. They have like a hooked end on them. So I was really intrigued by how that's gonna function. And they have this um, funky end on them. So I will do some cutting with them. It's called an easy stitch snip with hook blade. Uh, a perfect companion for quilters or snips allow you to uh, get under those tiny stitches for easy removal and no accidental cuts to your fabric. Spring action allows both left-handed and right-handed people to use for snipping stitches and cutting tail off loose end and knots for needlework, embroidery and quilting. So I am super intrigued to use them because, well, first of all, stitching is very trendy on our cards. Secondly, anything that helps lefties and righties, lefty here, uh, although I cut right-handed, I think is really cool. So I'll try that out. And I also like the idea that maybe for really tight fussy cutting, these might be cool. So I will do the 
do some usage and I'll report back on my thoughts. But if you want to try them again, I'll link those. Also, she came out with a rotary cutter in the same oil stain. You might notice, fan girl, I have to have everything she comes out with in this oil stain. But I did love this and I rotary cut a lot of paper. I do have separate, separate rotary cutters for paper and fabric. Um, I'm not sure what designation this one will come in yet, whether it will come in um, into my paper or into my um, fabric one, but it has a nice safety catch on it and it's really nice and ergonomic. It has like a nice grippy piece here and I just think it's really, really pretty, like really pretty. So, and it comes in a nice box. It may just live in the box and never get used, but I think it's really pretty. And if you're a Tula Pink fan, I will link it up for you. The final thing I bought was this. It's called a design board. Now it's designed for quilters and it has like a wadding type surface on it, batting surface, and it has a pretty edge on it. And the idea is that you can lay your quilt blocks out onto it so that you can pre-lay them out and work out your things. And when you have a quilt in progress, you can lay it out onto here and know exactly how it looks, which I think is a really cool idea. If you're a quilter, you may want one of these for that purpose. And I'm gonna have one for my sewing space because I think it's a really cool idea. But what did I buy it for? I bought it because my table often looks like chaos and it's a really nice pure white surface. So I bought this because it's the perfect size for taking photos on and it's white. So if you are thinking of blogging or you like to do Instagram photos, those kinds of things, um, Greg was like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. So um, that's why I bought it. I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you know how it goes. You may see some pictures with some pretty pink edges on and it's square for us Instagrammers. So I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see how it goes. So they are my recommendations. That's why I love sewing stuff for my craft room. I'm in love with those buttons, aren't they so cool? Uh, all of the links, of course, are in the video description and all of our Hedgehog Hollow exclusive coupons that we have every single week and we have monthly ones too, so you can check those out and they change regularly. So always check the video descriptions for the latest coupon codes. If this is an older video by the time you're watching it, hop to a new Hedgehog Hollow video for the latest coupon codes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for the latest Hedgehog Hollow videos. We're here every single day with tips, tricks, tutorials, all of those fun things and of course check out the latest Hedgehog Hollow subscription box in that fun black and white polka dot box check the top right hand corner to find out more or check out the video description too I will see you again for tomorrow and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video happy stamping everyone bye